in this lesson we will be discussing about the conditional statements in Java so we know that uh, we have multiple conditional statements and what does it mean that we have a condition and if that condition fulfills our code will run into that area and then it will uh, give us the required output so for example if I say that I need to shortlist a person or I need to shortlist a student who who has 80% uh, or above the attendance uh, shortlist for the examination final examination so I have some condition I have an attendance list and now I am saying that webhub if webhub attendance is 80% or greater than 80% then he is only qualified for the uh, to be appear in the final examination so we uh, in real world scenarios we have many condition statements and with the help of those condition statements we make some decisions uh, around that so let's dive into this that how we can implement conditional statements in Java so Java compiler executes the code from top to bottom so we know that that if I, we are having an int main the Java will uh, code will import some of the libraries then it will initialize some of the variables and then it will go towards the uh, int main function and then we are have we will be taking input or we will be passing some values to that so that it can be uh, occupied and can give us the right answer so it runs from top to bottom and the statements in are in in the code are executed according to the order in which we, in which they appear so what which it means that if i had initialized that int a is equal to 10 so first it will run int a is equal to 10 then it will access the a uh, in in its uh, uh, in its commands or and so on and so forth so what does it mean that if we cannot the what the order we had specified java compiler will take that order uh, as it is and then it will execute it according to our needs so uh, which in which order uh, we will be appearing it will be going towards that so however java provides a statement that can be used to control the uh, java code and such statements are called control statements so we know that we have some of these statement which which controls all over the java flow which are if statement switch statement and then with the help of these if and switch statement we can easily we can easily control the flow of java code so uh, uh, java provides three types of control flow statement one are decision making statement if else statement switch statement then we have some loop statement which we will be covering in the uh, next part of this course so a loop statement that we have some of the loops do while loop while loop for loop for each loop java has introduced a for each loop here also as compared to c and c plus plus we don't have any for each loop we do we only have have while loop for loop and do while loop but here java has introduced the for each loop then we have some jump statement which is break statement continue statement so we will, will be implementing these uh, in a nice uh, code flow so that you can have a clear understanding about the uh, if statements and uh, the the consequences which if and else statement uh, brings in so the uh, the if statement is a condition to execute a part according to the condition so what I said that if I need to uh, in, uh, check that if Weber's attendance is 80% or greater than 80% then he is only qualified to sit in the final examination so this is an if condition and with the help of this if condition we can easily make some of the decisions so uh, here we had a uh, short example here so public statement so let's uh, move towards the main and here we know that, that this is the public class we have a main and then it is being initialized public static void main so first moving towards the arena of coding mechanism let's install this with the help of apache deadbeat so we have an id we can use any id to run java program but netbeans is 
one of the popular id used for java so just write apache netbean id and it will download the latest version to our computer so it will it is a heavy software so it, it will contain some memory also it will have some of the hard drive also so we 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 make sure that we have enough capacity in our system to install this so once this is being installed we will be uh, opening a, a project or a file so that we can easily uh, uh, we can easily make the code around so let's have public class main uh, the initial the initial uh, initialization of this code flow public class main pl public static void main is being compiled or is being done by the id itself so we just need don't need to have a public class main as uh, input uh, just like in c or c++ so but the thing is that uh, we just need to input the code and then we will be uh, running uh, towards the uh, right path so here we have a public class main public static void main we have a string arguments as here and now i am passing int x is equal to 10 int y is equal to 12 so i am having a x plus y is greater than 20 then please print this thing and if uh, uh, then just quit this code so for example let's run this the run we will be having shift plus f6 and it will run it and yes it is giving me that the x plus y is greater than 20 so if we go towards this and let's have 2 here and what it will be giving us the output shift plus f6 and here it is it is uh, does not giving us the required output which is uh, not uh, correct uh, in this case but here the, with the help of this if statement we can easily uh, enter into any conditional statement and then we can play with that so we, there are many cases where we use only if and there are very many cases where you we, where we use a combination of if and else statement so let's move towards this if and else statement and now this is an if and else uh, uh, block so we have a public class main public static void st uh, string uh, are the arguments as as usual then we have int i is equal to 20 and i am saying that if i is less than 15 then please print this else print this so let's uh, run this and shift f6 and now what is in yes i is uh, greater uh, d is greater than 15 this is the uh, case and then it will give us the all other operation out of condition so what does it mean then once it find it will the compiler will go here and if it does not fulfill the condition the if is con does not fulfill the condition and yes we know that the 20 is greater than 15 but the condition says that 20 is should be less than 15 it is a false statement once the if conditions fall it will directly move towards the else statement and ha as you can see that the, it has printed that d is greater than 15 and yes we have d is greater than 15 here because this if condition is being followed and then once the else statement is being completed it will go towards the another set of examples where or the another set of command where it will process those command as usual so with the help of these if and uh, if and else statements we can easily play with that data we can easily make uh, the code we can easily make a decision around that uh, meaning so for example if i we, we, we can say that if we above attendance is greater than or equals to 80 percent please proceed to or please uh, add his role number into the final examination list else call his parents okay so we have multiple decision making and with the help of these decision making we uh, in the business use case they are much beneficial to uh, to take decisions from that and to uh, to proceed with that data in any other format so with the uh, these are the f and l statement uh, code block and then now we have a switch statement so the java switch statement execute one statement from multiple uh, conditions so if it is like an if and else uh, if else if ladder statement so uh, this is the case then go towards the else statement then if else is false go towards if 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 is false go towards this if so to to simplify this we introduce a 
switch statement case and the switch statement works with byte short integer long enum type and we can use a string uh, in the switch statements also and uh, in the switch statement expression is evaluated once the value of the expression is compared to the with the values of each case so for example if I am saying that if my number uh, is 20 uh, so please go toward the case 20 and proceed process that case if I have a so for example if I am going towards an ATM and I will say that we have 10 options and now every 10 option has every different functionality against that so what does it means that if I press case 1 it will go towards you to pay the electricity bill if I press 2 it will go towards to pay the gas bill if I pay uh, uh, press 3 it will go toward the uh, uh, deposit screen or uh, transfer screen and we can say that so with the help of many cases and with the help of many switch statements we can easily hover around we can easily move around the uh, overall uh, code flow so uh, how does uh, the switch statement works uh, uh, then we have a break statement also and break statement is that it if the case is fulfilled then break and it will break from all the switch statement it will jump toward the another set of command which we had listed but if, if once the break statement is not enlisted it will go toward every cases uh, and then it will give us the uh, right output that we have a default keyword also a default keyword will say that if any of the switch statement is being false or is not being true we can move toward the default statement directly and then it will move towards the other switch statement after completing the default statement we will be uh, coding this stuff so that, so that you can have a uh, clear understanding about the uh, how these switch statements are being working so switch statement uh, works like an if and else uh, ladder multiple condition can be checked at once uh, and switch is provided as an expression that can be a constant or literal expression that can be evaluated so we can say that that we have some of the uh, valid expressions also so we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 these are the we can say that these are the numbers we can uh, for the uh, so cases or we can say that these are the uh, input from the user also and we can use this switch 1 into 2 plus 3 mod 4 and then what is the output will be the uh, case so for example this is the 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 and 6 plus 4 is 10 so once the this expression is being calculated then the the, the answer is 10 so it will move toward the 10th uh, case which we had already provided so these are the valid expression and we can use these expressions in our different use cases as per our need so now let's move towards the uh, implementation of this code and it will give us the right statement so now we have a public class main public static void main no issues at all now we have an int month is equal to 4 I had used a switch month so once the if this this is not necessary to uh, initialize or hard code is I we can use this as an input also as the in the ATM example also but here we have int month is equal to 4 switch month and now we have a case 1 if if the month is 1 it will go towards this case okay if the month is 2 it will go towards this case and this case and then it will directly break the overall switch uh, switch scenario if the case is 3 it will go towards if case is 4 it will go towards this and so on and so forth now let's have a quick example shift f6 what does it mean it will go towards the april because it's 4 and now it will go towards this 4 case 4 April it will print as the April and then it will break the the overall scenario but once the uh, it is breaking the it will not uh, install or it will not uh, run this default statement but once uh, let's have a case uh, month is equals to 9 for example and now will it be uh, running the default statement yes it will run in the next tab so because we don't find any case for the ninth value it will it will ha it has checked from this case 1 2 3 4 5 6 now we had passed 9 it will go toward default and will print the default uh, 
uh, function or the default it will run the default function so with the help of this we can easily uh, use this if statement and with the help uh, and this is the alternative of if and else letter so what does the if and else letter means that it will give me the that if uh, month is equal to one go this if uh, this else if then else if then else if then else if we don't have all of the options then else please print this so to to eradicate this to resolve this to resolve the complexity of if and else we had introduced the switch statement and now we have a break statement also uh, so switch uh, we uh, we had no uh, the uh, the switch statement with a break but we can use this because break uh, is an optional default is an optional uh, functionality in switch statement we can use this switch statement uh, without using break statement so how we can use this execution while omitting the break statement we can easily use this and let's have to explore this so we have a switch statement and int month one we have switched month now because we don't have any month it will print this for this for example we have a scenario that we need uh, that we, we we need to know that for k for month one how many days we have for month three how many days we have so we had hard coded this thing and we know that january march may july august october and december all these months contains 31 days so we had passed all this thing that if any month will come it will go towards this and it will print the uh, 31 days and now I had commented this break statement it will print 31 days also then it will move towards case 2 then it will move more uh, move towards this and then it will make towards the system uh, default uh, default statement also let's run this and so that we can have a clear understanding shift f6 and now it will it is giving the month one it will execute it this one 31 days it will have it had executed 28 days then it has ex executed 30 days and it has ex executed error also so now because of we because we don't specify any break statement here it has printed all those values in there so this can be beneficial for various use cases but now when I had uncommented this break statement and uh, let's have this now it will only print 31 days so uh, let's shift f6 and now yes it has only printed 31 days because once the when the target has been achieved we can uh, it has break over from overall switch statement block so with the help of these switch statement we can easily demonstrate then if and else uh, ladder in a much beautiful way in a much classical way and it will help the performance of our system also so uh, these are the conditional statements in Java they and they are the one of the one of the most backbones of any programming language be it Java, be it C, be it C++, be it Python because with the help of these conditional statements we can use these conditional statements in making decisions and in facilitating the end user for different use cases so please go through this so that you can have a clear understanding about the conditional statement